Hi, and welcome to Beyond the Paycheck. I'm Paula Christine. So in the last couple of months, we've been talking a lot about passive income and how to generate passive income. And the guests have been great, but I still am like stuck on how to even get that started for myself. So I've asked um, Joey Murray from um, Wealth Without Wall Street to join us today to even talk about it further. So welcome, Joey. Thanks for having me, Paul. I really appreciate it. So tell me about your background in finance and passive income. I actually started my career in the mortgage business and helping people set up what I thought to be their greatest asset. In fact, most people would even say, you know, your home is your the most expensive asset you ever buy, so on and so forth. And I had a lot of success in that world. I started making well over $300,000 a year in my 20s. Nice. And I thought, wow, this is what financial success should be like. And in fact, the opposite was true. With success and with increased income, I didn't experience freedom. And I think there's a delineation there that I had to kind of experience to understand. I had read the Rich Dad, Poor Dads of the world and it was a great idea, but it didn't sink in until I started making that kind of money. And I had my wife and I have five daughters, Paul. I don't know if you knew oh, that. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> Plus your wife, that makes six women in your household. Yes. And they tell me what to do on a regular basis. It's, a, it's an amazing blessing. Of, <laughs> but these are my favorite people in the whole world. And as you start making more and more active income, it was taking me away from them. I'll give you a couple of examples. Number one, I was actually a branch manager leading 25 loan officers at the time. I would go on vacation and I would tell my wife and kids, hey, you guys go on down to the beach. I'll be right behind you. I just need to take this one last call. And what happened three hours later, I'm walking down that boardwalk behind the condo, getting ready to go to the beach. And there's my family walking back on the same boardwalk with this just hissed look. Well deserved. Like, what are you doing? You're on vacation. You're physically in the same location, but you are mentally light years away. And that was to me, that was like a wake up call. It's like, wait a minute, increased income doesn't equal freedom. Something needed to change. I didn't know exactly at the time, but I knew that there had to be some sort of a change because this was not giving me the results that I was looking for. Does that kind of resonate? Yes, it does. And only because I own my own business and I know what that's like. But I don't know if it's different because I was the mother that I was there for the baseball games and, and stuff like that because my now ex-husband, he was at work doing his job and he could do that. So one of us, I don't know if it's just because I was the mother that that fell on me. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I think so many people are in that same boat. They think they're working so hard for their family and yet their family is slipping kind of away. And those things, like you said, kind of missing out on life, missing out on the things. And actually, some friends of mine were talking about this actually this morning. They're like, do you realize when the last time that you will hold one of your daughters in your arms, you will always look back and figure out when that was. You never know when it is at the time. More income isn't the answer, right? More active income, because that is the income that requires more of you. You are the asset producing the income. In order for you to gain more freedom, we didn't create this. We're just literally robots for Robert Kiyosaki. He said, financial freedom is when your passive income exceeds your monthly expenses. Okay, but how do you get the passive income? I, you know, I thought you'd never ask, Paula. <laughs> I'm going to give you the exact kind of steps to do it. And it's only because I lived through it and did these things and didn't, I did them imperfectly. I'm going to go ahead and tell you like Russ and I, my, my business partner and I, we share in our podcast how we went from $2,500 a month of passive income. We've reported it in June of 2020. In 2020, we said, this is what we're making passively right now. Within 18 months later, we were reporting over 50,000 a month. And it wasn't until we looked backwards and realized there were some very key steps that if we had done them much faster, we would have gotten to this number 
into this freedom much faster. So what's step number one? Well, think about it this way for a second, Paula. In our book, we talk about the GPS, uh, the GPS model. And I know that's potentially a somewhat played out kind of visual, but it never ceases to amaze me. You hold, hold out your phone and that day when you could pull up your phone and you could say, I want to go to this destination. You type in the destination and you hit get directions. And it tells you literally step by step what to do to get to where you want to go. And it says how to get there the fastest way possible. Like that was a huge day for me to understand that that was possible, right? But in order for us to get to financial freedom, we have to have that same thing. We have to know where we are right now, what the destination is, and what steps to get there. And so that's why we created the GPS model because it really is a journey and we have to know uh, where to start, where to begin, and, and then where to go. You ask the first question, it's goal, right? Out of that GPS model, it's goal. Like your goal to have $50,000 in passive income, is that the goal or? Well, the goal is what are your expenses right now? Okay. There are people in our community that need like $5,500 to pay all of their expenses every month. Mm -hmm. There are people in our community that need $35,000 a month to cover all of their expenses. They're at different stages of life. They're at different positions in life. That's their goal, depending on what their expenses are per month. Joey, if I could jump in here for a second, this goes back to the equation that you gave us earlier. The goal is different numbers, as you said, for different people, but it's to make more in passive income every month than you have in expenses. That's the goal, right? A hundred percent, because think about that for just a second. I don't want it to just be a formula because formulas are kind of, you know, lame. They're, they're just kind of like numbers. But think about this for a second. If tomorrow you woke up, you walked out to the mailbox and there was $10,000 sitting in there and your expenses for the month are $10,000. Now I want you to pull up your calendar. What is on the calendar for this week? Whatever I want. A hundred percent. You have, There's literally nobody dictating to you what your next hour, your next week, your next eight hours, whatever the case may be. We're, we've been accustomed to thinking my nine to five. Well, why do we call it a nine to five? It's because someone has dictated to us that there is 40 hours a week that they now dictate what you do with those hours. And if you don't do them properly, you go work somewhere else. Like you no longer work for that person. That nine to five is now someone else's. But if you have that passive income that exceeds your monthly expenses, you literally look at a blank calendar and you fill in the blanks. Who am I going to spend time with? Where are we going to do it? When are we going to meet? When are we going to, like, all of that is 100% in your control. This could be of any age, too. It doesn't have to be like, if you're thinking about retirement, it could be someone in their 30s, 40s. 100%. Yeah, there are people within our community that are in their young 20s, all the way into their early 60s that have accomplished this and they've done it for various different reasons. And that's why I say that goal. So there's a monetary number right? You just, you very clearly stated out, like, what is that number? It has to be your monthly expense number. Okay. Everybody's number is different. But the second thing is, man, what am I going to be? What am I going to do? And what am I going to have when I reach financial freedom? Be more, have more, do more. Exactly. If, if I can specify what those things are, now I have a vision. I have a goal of what is my life going to look like if and when I reach financial freedom. And it, without that, I'm going to be honest, Paula, none of the other things matter. It seems kind of weird. It's like, isn't this a financial thing? Like, Wealth Without Wall Street, don't you guys make money when people do financial things? Well, yes, but if you don't have your vision straight, knowing what to invest in is completely off the table. Whatever I want to accomplish in my life, I can do that and I can get up every day inspired to go about my day, if it's volunteering, if it's just meditating, or if it's just going for a walk, I can do that without having to worry about, are my bills going to be paid? I can be the person that I want to be and do the things that I want to do. Exactly. And the goal is so important, but it always has to be kind of supported by this plan. And that's the, in the second, the GPS, the 
The G is the goal. The P is the plan. I thought the P was the person you wanted to be. No, that's still under goal. You know, don't get ahead of yourself. Well, I'm writing it down. (laughs) So within the plan, I don't know if you've ever had someone ask you this, Paula. They say, are 401ks a good investment? And how would you answer that? I would answer it as it depends. Okay. Why? Why do you say that? All the variables, the person, the goals, what you need to do, what what kind of return you need, and what the investments are going to do. Well, liquidity, there's a lot of things that go into that question. I totally agree. And here's the thing that I would say, if we don't have their vision correct, then they can't answer that question, right? You, I know you see this every day. People get caught up in what's the rate of return. Mm-hmm. But the point is, is if the requirement of that money is it has to stay there until I'm 59 and a half and I'm 30 and I want to be financially free in the next five years. It can't be in your 401k. It can't be in the 401k. I have to have access to this capital in order to create financial freedom. All right, so as the producer, I'm going to just throw the quick disclaimer in here. Paula and Joey and I are not saying that 401k is the wrong choice for everybody. For some people, it may actually be uh, the right thing to do. But for Joey, whose whole model is wealth without Wall Street, they're talking about a different way of going about it. Here's the thing. If people are not going to be driven to become financially free in the next, you know, three years, five years, 10 years, whatever the case may be, and they just want to retire well, then 401k makes all the sense in the world for them. I mean, when we're talking about passive income to create financial freedom today, it takes somebody who is not average. They're not going to just kind of go with the flow and and just retire. Like that retirement is not in their vocabulary. And then, so we're going to get to the S on the GPS now, Joey, is that right? All that leads to is, man, once I know what my goal is, I now have a plan. I know who I am as an investor. My money is flowing in the right directions to support that goal. Now I need to be in a like-minded community. I need the support of people who have been there, done that, or at least on the process or on the path ahead of me so that I can start asking the right questions. I can learn from their experiences. That is powerful because so many people tear down instead of lift up. Okay, so GPS is so you know what your goals are. And the goal should start off to be just cover your expenses. Then you might need to have a plan. And the plan is about understanding who you are as an investor. And then you have the support from the community that you guys have started, correct? Absolutely. And if it's not our community, find the support of somebody. There are people that are in your town that are thinking these things. I like the way that you guys have this planned out. And it's a step-by-step. But your book isn't out yet, though, is it? You're... Wealth Without Wall Street book? It's not. One thing I will encourage you and your listeners to do is if you want to write a book, try not to hire a ghostwriting company that goes out of business in the middle of writing. Oh, no. Um, Uh It's not advising. Uh, I'm just going to say it. It slows things down considerably. And uh, but despite those setbacks, uh, we hope to have it out um, here in the next 90 days or so. Okay, I did check out your website. I know there's a lot of resources. I'll point you to one main place where you can get some resources, but uh, if you go to wealthwithoutwallstreet.com forward slash beyond the paycheck, that's specific to your show. If people want to get access to that investor DNA profile, it's an assessment we created. Um, There's a link on there. There's also a link to just talk to one of our coaches, a 15 minute call for free. And then uh, lastly, uh, if you have questions about joining a mastermind, there's a link that will tell you more about that on there. But on our website, there's other resources and, you know, happy to go into as much detail there, but just grateful to connect, you know, if you have questions and want to be supported in any of these areas. What I like, I think, is that there's an actual process and will put you in the right direction to start developing this passive income. And I think that's the part that I was missing, it's not so easy as saying, you know, just go out and buy real estate or, you know, mortgage back loans. I mean, it's, it's just not that simple in my head anyways. Yeah. No, I like the process. I like that you do have it all laid out and that's very, very helpful. So I really appreciate you being with us today, Joey. Well, I hope that it demystifies, like you said, this idea of passive income, because it's one thing for someone to get on a show and say, Hey, look at me, I've done all these things. And you can do the same thing too, but with no process, with no plan, 
it's really mm. highly unlikely that someone's going to have similar results. And so for us, it was important to basically create the exact blueprint that if someone will follow these things, they will at least understand the steps it takes. And then it's about willpower. It's about, am I going to stay with this? Am I going to continue even whenever I have setbacks? Because there's always setbacks. Uh, like for instance, hiring a, a book company that goes out of business, right? Those are things you don't expect, but they happen. But man, if you can follow the process and have a coach who's been there, done that, it really makes the risk of failure decrease and the, the chance for success to increase. I agree with that hundred percent. It's always good to seek out knowledge. So again, thank you, Joey. If anybody would like to get a hold of me, you can reach me at paula at paulachristine.com or you can check out the website at paulachristine.com. 